Hello everyone, this is Kyle Cooper with Varsity Sports, and I'm back again with another halftime segment. This week we are going back to the NFL. We are skipping the podium and going to a brand new segment called Dive. You might be familiar with this guy right here, NFL quarterback Brock Purdy. Some of you might not actually know this, but Brock Purdy was born here in Arizona in Queen Creek. He made his name known throughout the state back in 2015 through 2017 as the quarterback for Perry High School. Now, right after his sophomore year in high school, the AIA actually adjusted the region so Perry could be placed in the 6A Division Premier Region. The 6A region ranks as one of the toughest regions in all of the United States for high school football. During high school, Purdy competed against some top tier competition in playing Chandler, Hamilton, and Basha. You might be familiar with those schools. In the years of 2016 and 2017, Brock Purdy led Perry to the state championship back to back, but ended up losing both of those games 65 to 28 and 48 to 42 to Chandler High School. For the 2017 to 2018 season, Brock Purdy was named the Gatorade Player of the Year. And this was the first Arizona Football Player of the Year award to go to Perry High School. Throughout high school, his stats were pretty impressive, throwing for 4,410 yards, 57 touchdowns, 9 interceptions, 1,106 rushing yards, and 10 rushing touchdowns. It wasn't all positive for Brock Purdy as people overlooked him and this continued to be a theme throughout his career. ESPN and 247 Sports considered Purdy as only a three-star recruit coming out of high school. Despite this rating, Purdy committed to Iowa State University and joined Kyle Kempt and Zeb Nolan as the third string quarterback. He soon became the starter that freshman year as Kemp got injured and Nolan wasn't really producing on the field, so they gave the start to Brock Purdy. In his first season, he would finish with a career best 169.9 passer rating and he completed 146 out of 220 passes for 2,250 yards, 16 touchdowns, and 7 interceptions. The Cyclones achieved four consecutive winning seasons with Purdy under center. This made it the first time the program has seen four straight winning seasons back since 1923 to 1927. Throughout college, Purdy earned a 151.1 passer rating, throwing for 12,170 yards, 81 touchdowns, and 33 interceptions. But he still wasn't turning any heads and getting noticed. After college, he declared for the NFL draft, and if you're an NFL fan, we all know that Brock Purdy was picked last in the 2022 draft. This is where his nickname, Mr. Irrelevant, came from. The 2022-23 to 23 season for the 49ers was a great one as they had the number one defense in the NFL and a really star-studded offense as well. After promising young quarterback Trey Lance went out with an injury in week two of the season, Jimmy Garoppolo took the job but only lasted till week 13 of the season. After Garoppolo suffered a foot injury, Brock Purdy came into the game and this is where he would make a name for himself in the NFL. Brock Purdy stepped in, completed 25 to 37 passes for 210 yards and two touchdowns. He became the first Mr. Irrelevant to throw for a touchdown pass in a regular season game. You really can't make this up. In his first career start, he bested Tom Brady in the Buccaneers. After that game, the team went on to win six games in a row and made it to the NFC Championship game. The 49ers completed their 22-23 season with a loss to the Eagles in that championship game. It didn't help either that Brock Purdy was out for most of the game with an injury and what looked like a Super Bowl winning team fell short and had to go home. Despite losing their number one and number two quarterbacks, the 49ers discovered a star in the making. The 49ers are coming off a dominant 30-7 win over the Pittsburgh Steelers. 
with their excellent defense, one of the best running backs in the NFL in Christian McCaffrey, star wide receivers, and Mr. Relevant, the sky is the limit for the San Francisco 49ers. The 49ers will play the Los Angeles Rams this Sunday, and it'll be the first time that a number one overall pick in Matthew Stafford faces off against the last pick in the draft in Brock Purdy. He went from taking Perry High School to the state championship to taking the San Francisco 49ers to the NFC championship game. It's clear that Arizona's own Brock Purdy is proving all these haters wrong. This has been your week's deep dive, and once again, I'm Kyle Cooper with Varsity Sports, and enjoy the second half.